Welcome to Six Sigma Mania. I will give you five different high-level project examples from different environments and departments. Take these examples as a brief overview of how Six Sigma Black Belt project can look like. Examples are from different environments. Machining production. Supply chain. Production planning. Maintenance. Engineering. And what would be this list without full-time Black Belt project example, right? So sixth example will be full-time black belt project. Six Sigma black belt projects, generally said, are a little bit more complex. It does not mean that person must be fully assigned to project role as a full-time black belt. Trained for Six Sigma black belt can be any position that potentially might have free available time to focus on topics out of his or her responsibility. Black belt trained positions can be engineers, supervisors, managers, team leaders, supply chain or human resources representatives, maintenance technicians, and so on. And projects will be assigned to them based on this individual person role and the scope of her or his job. Believe or not, these are true project examples from my seven years professional experiences. Production example, too many toolings in machine stock warehouse. The goal of this project was to optimize tooling inventory from current 100,000s USD in value, to whatever optimum will be. Current state challenge was, that consumption and quantity delivered is not under control. There were three tooling cabinets in the project scope. Team recounted tooling to define its value, and came to around 100k USD number. Deeper consumptions review showed, that there are 15% of tools, that are used once a while. These seldom used tools made up to 25k USD of total value. Other tools are used on daily basis, but number of tooling in some cases was for 9 month of average consumption. There were set up minimum and maximum volume limits for each tool in the new, future process state. Minimum is 3 weeks of average consumption. Maximum limit for tools was 2 months of average consumption. Limits were clearly visualized with green, orange, and red color. Orange color means that there is requirement of tool refilling. Red color signalize that there is critically low number of tools and production continuity might be in danger. External supplier is responsible for refill. Supplier is visiting facility on weekly basis, review cabinets. Supplier was trained to understand color signals meaning. Regular cabinets were exchanged by computer controlled cabinets. Tooling supplier leases cabinets to the company. Tools are also owned by tooling company until it is withdrawn by employee. Employee must use his own code to withdraw required tool. Consumption is now under control. Machine generates receipt of consumed tools once a month. Exact used tools amount is charged to the company afterwards. Three tooling cabinets were reduced to two, owned by tooling supplier, as mentioned. Inventory related tooling costs were reduced from 100k to almost zero. Supply Chain, Cost Reduction Program Natural supply chain activity is regularly bought material cost reduction. Principle is simple. There is a current product cost, and buyer is trying to negotiate lower price. There are five buyers in the team. Goal of this project was cost savings approach unification, and minimal 10% of cost saving for five different types of products, each buyer is responsible for. This will be direct costs reduction, affecting company spends. There is not exactly defined process that every team member could be following. Senior buyer, as a project leader, called kickoff meeting. Supply chain manager explained goal and targeted due date of the project. Team map today's situation, each buyer follows. There were found deviations between approach and results each buyer has. Ideal process was put together. There were identified steps and tasks to reach that ideal. Each task has its owner, and the due date. New process can be in place immediately, and buyers can follow it. Process map was added to the company's official quality management system. Personal buyer's goals were updated to a cost reduction program as a very high priority. Personal goals are reviewed quarterly, and the cost reduction progress is monitored there. Team have set up regular monthly reviews. Follow up on running projects is done on this meeting, as well as new opportunities reviews. Production planning, leveling the goods quantity released to production. High mix of material is daily released to the production. Production is struggling by having waves of similar parts delivered to each station. 
This is causing that parts are delivered in batches to final warehouse. It is causing that parts are not always available at warehouse when requested by customer. Planner is searching for parts in production and pushing it to finish goods warehouse to have it available. Research showed that parts are released in batches form the beginning. It is also happening that the same parts are done in the row at some workstations. So batches are doubled. One of the lean principles is that the best way of delivering parts through production is by leveling it from the beginning to the end. Team have counted average amount of each part that is consumed by customers every day. That means that have to be released to production, done by each workstation and delivered to the warehouse. This number was multiplied by average discrepancy rate. Production scheduler started to release parts as calculated. Each workstation team was trained to run just specific number of parts every day. It took some time, but parts started to be delivered to the warehouse every day. Maintenance, machines downtimes improvement, top 3 machines. Machining company has fleet of different machines to produce different customer requests. Machines are needed to be repaired sometimes. It is causing downtimes in production. Maintenance department started with prevention program. But there is a huge variety of equipment, so where to start? What is the priority? Goal of this project is to predict and to prevent downtimes on all fleet of the machines. Maintenance team started with data collection on interventions. Data are so great that team have decided to continue monitoring also in the future. Pareto distribution was created from data collected in last 3 months. This project was divided to multiple generations. Top 3 machine downtimes are addressed in the Gen 1, next 3 in the Gen 2, and so on. Preventive maintenance protocol was reviewed and updated for each machine in cooperation with its supplier. TPM spreadsheets were created for daily, weekly, and monthly reviews. Daily and weekly maintenance, called TPM level 1, is a machine operation responsibility. Machines are cleaned and checked on easily accessible things like hoses visual control, dials parameters control. Machine smooth run is controlled here too. Monthly maintenance, called TPM level 2, is maintenance responsibility. It is a special electrical, hydraulic, and pneumatic control check. Part of the project was to review spare parts list. It is for quicker exchanges in the case of downtimes. Contracts with machine suppliers were reviewed too to have earlier interventions in the case of urgency. Each project generation took about 6 months to accomplish. There were identified 3 other project groups that can work in parallel on machines improvements after finalizing the pilot project. So, improvements will be implemented faster to the entire machine fleet. Engineering new qualification process approval. There is a PPAP required when engineering is qualifying new part to production. Current PPAP process is set up to review required technologies, which is good. But practice showed that there is always something additional missing, like small component system set up by planning department or finished goods warehouse space identification. Supply chain should be involved too. This is causing delays and flow interruption in the production. team mapped current process there is engineering department and production involved only finance warehouse planning supply chain production design tooling logistics departments were involved in the process creation team have discussed opportunities and challenges on each step pains that production and other departments have been described under each step each pain became a task to be addressed departments have identified ideal time where they must be involved in the qualification process However, PPAP leader will always call kickoff meeting. New process map describes all required steps to finalize new products qualification. It is a little bit more complex, but it worth it. Each new project will have special folder on the SharePoint company is using. All documents will be stored there. Engineering will be the department that will coordinate communication and required activities to be fully qualified. This new process was immediately implemented to current running qualifications. situations when production was stopped due to insufficient parts approval was reduced to minimum production is happier parts flow more fluent full time black belt project back to lean organization where our six sigma black belt works is 50 years in the business lean culture was incorporated to the structure in 1990s people were trained in lean six sigma regularly multiple projects were led by different departments continuous improvement efforts were daily job However, 
there was a lockdown for almost two years during the COVID-19 pandemic. As a many of consequences, lean principles disappeared. Continuous improvement thinking and lean approach was almost gone. Production became more chaotic, communication between departments is much more difficult. Struggling was present everywhere. It was natural that management decided to launch back to lean project. Jane, the full-time black belt worked with top management to understand their vision. Voice of the business was used and translated to critical business requirements. One day workshop run with facility management showed they struggles and opportunities that must be addressed. Jane has created list of activities that should be run based on the feedback from top and local management. Leaders of all departments were involved in addressing these challenges. Each activity was deeply discussed with the team. Solution and way of addressing particular challenge was described. Owner and due date identified. There were many subprojects required to be run. Timeline was set up based on task difficulty to each subproject. Main project goal, back to lean became an umbrella project, covering all subprojects. Black Belt lead some projects, but she was involved in all projects as a team member. Jane helped coordinate all activities within subprojects. There were quick wins identified. Like new hires, that joined company during COVID, training on Six Sigma Yellow Belt and CI Board. Management was retrained for the Lean 2. Leaders, supervisors, team leaders were trained in the second wave. Lean articles were written to monthly newspaper that organization has. And many other activities, like value stream mapping, gimbal walks, 5S audits, safety trainings were run in parallel. Everyone in the organization became somehow involved in the Lean culture. It took about six months to accomplish majority of the tasks. And changes were obvious. Communication have improved, production flow is smoother, continuous ideas raised up by 80%. Company embedded lean culture once again. And this was my last black belt example. I am here for you. Do not hesitate to contact me and set up consultations. I can help you with lean management organization and culture. Six Sigma trainings and certification. Directing in green belt and black belt projects. From theory to practice project management. Personal growth strategy planning. First 30 minutes of consultations is for free. Take a look under the video where you find a link to my blog to download many Lean Six Sigma templates for free. If you find this video helpful, give us a like and do not forget to subscribe. Have a great days.